Thank you for stopping by. In this video, we'll explain the specific content of the field validation, the case of monitoring and analyzing agricultural biomass combustion air pollution, which is supported by the project called Civil IoT Taiwan. So for our field validations, our problematic is that if we lower the threshold for data analyze and enable real-time data processing, we'll be able to facilitate a faster decision-making process that will be able to solve environmental issues. And underneath that, we come up with three different goals. That the first one is to bring new solutions to environmental improvements. And the second one is to promote uh, collaborations between Taiwanese companies and overseas ones. And the third one is that we wanted to prove that Taiwanese experiments can benefit our regional partners. So the first step is to find a suitable field. After learning that the air pollution in Bangkok area is very serious from February to April, and also throughout our uh, layers and layers partner selections and connections, we choose air pollution the topic of air pollution in Bangkok area as the field uh, and also establish partnership with IBIS and Cameo with the hypothesis that part of the air pollution in Bangkok area comes from, comes from agricultural biomass combustion in the north area. We aim to validate the, these assumptions while creating a service collaborations by uh, leveraging the stress of these two companies, which is IBIS and Cameo. We hope the final outcome will provide the concrete solutions to our problematic. After contacting IBIS, we learned that it has a platform called Vatteris, which is a geographic mapping platform that handles environmental monitoring and visualizations of Thailand's air, water quality, etc. And we believe that docking this platform with Cameo's generative AI will be an ideal option. And because of this, our new form of cooperation had emerged. In this picture, we can see the user, user's interactions with the AI for real-time data, while sensor in Bangkok areas keep collecting air pollution data and the stakeholders like IBS, Cameo, and they're doing the data cleaning, analyze, and presentations, while the OCF acts as a tech technical consultant that coordinating and connecting relevant parties. In order to make the work faster and more complete, we assist the various in integrating PM 2.5 data from IQ Airs which holds like uh, 196 air sensing stations. And also as well as the fire spot, we call it hotspot, hotspot data from NASA. In this collaboration, we totally integrated uh, on, on, on a part of the hotspot data. We have like uh, 91,895 from four satellites. And for the air pollution data, the PM 2.5 data, we have 378,414. That comes from, just like I said, uh, the 196 air sensing stations. Meanwhile, Cameo's generative AI bot from focus on data analyzed and using AI technology to clean and visualize data from the IBs, helping the user understand air pollution dynamics. Users can interact with the bot run. Simply using natural language, they'll be able to receive the inside report from the bot run. Here is the data transfer and processing flowchart of our collaborations. Currently, the air pollution and hotspot data that integrated on the Valerie's platform are transmitted to Botron via API. Botron then clean and analyze the data to create the inside reports. Afterwards, the dynamic content of the analyze is bridged via iframe, allowing it to be 
displayed on the batteries platform or the web page that holds by the IBs. In the nearly future, as the collaboration deepens and the integration between the two sides have matured, we hope to have Botron send the inside report in the format of CSV to the batteries, which then will generate visual results for the user. Regarding the outcome, by using spatial autocorrelation analyze, we first confirmed that Bangkok's air pollution from February to April is correlated with the northern hotspots, which means that it's possible that the fire event in the northern area can somehow affect to the air quality of the Bangkok area. We then worked together to facilitate the connection between the APIs and platform of data applications companies in Taiwan and Thailand. Finally, we use iFRAN as a serial connection to complete the prototype of Bangkok's Dynamics Air Pollution Hotspot Map, which connects the Cameo's analyzed results and IB's webpage presentations. Throughout the real-time and visualized insight from the background, users like the Thai public sector can receive early warning and develop corresponding medium to long-term policies that based on AI analyzed results. We believe that this is crucial for improving air quality. Within these collaborations of our field validation, the Bodron and batteries will keep finding new patterns of air pollution and provide the insight of them to the user, allowing the government to react. And not only the air, scenarios like water pollution, floods, can also be addressed as long as there are data of them. Based on the structure of Cameo, OCF, and IB's collaboration, we hope to develop more stakeholders in this ecosystem in the future. As the picture shows, users, such as decision makers in the Thai public sector, they can make decisions more quickly and accurately. And at the same time, it is also linked to the level of measuring station deployment and uh, academic research in response to, to data supply so that more partners can enter such an ecosystem and we will be able to achieve the resilience and the flexibility of the civil IoT. And finally, we'll be able to let Taiwanese experiments assist our regional partners. And that's all from me. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to connect us via hi at ocf.tw. This is our email, you can find me there. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Appreciate that.